and welcome to the arm parlor. I'm Allison. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as a Levitt one Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, uh, and this is episode 42. Thank you for joining me today. You can find the show notes in the Ravelry group. There's a link below. I usually post them on Thursdays. Might be a little bit late this week, but uh, all show notes can be found over there. So today I have some knitting and spinning to talk about, a little of both, more knitting than spinning. Um, but I wanted to, before I jump into that, I wanted to talk about a new pattern, at least it will be new, uh, it's not released yet. It's called Saturate by Mara Catherine Briner, she's most known for her uh, jelly roll socks and Rose City rollers. She has this amazing way of blending colors together. Uh, I think this pattern's gonna be the new find your fade craze for shawls. At least the technique will be. So instead of striping her colors, I think it's a color work type of way of blending the yarns together. Um, but in her new shawl pattern, she will go over her technique, which is very exciting because <laughs> I want to know how she does it if you follow her on Instagram she has done I think a lot of socks and some shawls this way she just is a whiz with colors and I think it's amazing how she puts them all together so her new pattern comes out May 3rd and I'm very excited for it I don't have any FOs this week but I did want to add on from last week. Last week was like a mishmash of craziness and I feel like I was a little incoherent because I was all over the place because I get so excited to share all of the things that I've been working on that like stuff totally gets left behind. <laughs> Important information does not get conveyed. <laughs> So I just wanted to go back really, really quick and talk about my Starburst shawl. I wanted to let you guys know that I knit the small, I don't think I said this. So I knit the small size, um, hopefully I will re-knit this again for myself in the large size, but if you're thinking about knitting that shawl and you want some sort of size comparison, I had knit the small size. Now on to knitting. So these past couple weeks I've been working on um, a lot of gifts because I'm going to be on a two month long trip back to the States, um, spending time with family and friends. And I wanted to knit a bunch of gifts. Most of them older projects that I just never finished. So I'm trying to finish up some of these gift projects. And so that's what I've been working on really the past two weeks. A lot of them are socks. <laughs> but um, the first one is a baby hat. And I'm just knitting a simple two by two rib um, baby hat for a one year old. No pattern. Um, I cast on 112 stitches. This needle is a US 1 2.5. I'm using the Caspian double pointed needles. Um, I picked up a full set just because I've been knitting so many socks and I was like running out of needles all the time. So I thought, why not just pick up a set? They're pretty inexpensive nitpicks and they're not super sharp needles but they do the job and um and i like the green color so yeah it's i've been lit knitting a lot of two by two rib i think i'm becoming a pro at it really uh i did a german twist cast on to get that extra stretch at the edge i don't think you can really tell and the yarn I'm using is Snow by Wool Folk. It's 100% wool, fingering weight. 
and it's so soft. This yarn is so nice. It's a little bit, um, I have a feeling it'll pill easily. It's a bit hairy, but um, it's really nice. So yeah, I'm just knitting a simple baby hat for a friend. This will go along with the sweater that I was knitting a couple months ago. And I'm just going to do a simple uh, shaping at the top to get a rounded cap at the top. It'll be pretty basic. And next, I've been working on my brother's socks, which I've been keeping in my Slip Stitches Studio bag. Whoops. The, um, they're Prince fabric. I loved it. Had to have it right away soon as it came out um, and so his socks were originally part of my last year monthly sock challenge and it was a pattern a lot of my socks in my monthly sock challenge I wanted to knit pattern socks not um, vanilla stockinette socks and it was extremely slow going so I ripped them out <laughs> and I cast on plain vanilla socks so here is that. I'm basically at the same length that I was when I first, with the pattern. It was a beautiful pattern. I just, it, they're not fast and I need fast right now. So there you are, vanilla socks it is. So I've been knitting a high two by two rib cuff because I think that that will work better for the socks to stay up and I've been doing about I think it's about a two, two and a quarter inch cuff, so really high rib. Um, and this is, the yarn is Biker Chick by Miss Babs. And I have it on the Hot Shop base, which is her three ply fingering. Um, and I love the way it's knitting up. I think it's a great colorway, very cool. I love that rust in there. These needles are great needles and I like them a lot. And, oh, there it is. They are Haya Haya Sharps US Ones 2.25. And I'm knitting those Magic Loop. So hopefully this will go a lot faster than the pattern. <laughs> and I don't, I think I'm gonna do that square heel again. I did them on my husband's socks, which I showed last week, uh, last episode. And that worked out really well. It was quick. Uh, it was the eye of partridge heel flap and a square um, gusset heel. Yeah, square heel and gusset. What? Um, but I think that looked really nice. And um, so I'm gonna try that on these for him. I've been doing a lot of casting on these past couple weeks. <laughs> and some new for me as well. I've been casting on some new projects for me just because why not? Just because, I don't know. I'm trying out some of my new hand dyed yarns. I want to see what they would look like knit up. So. Which is the perfect segue into my sister's yoga socks. So my sister had a pair of yoga socks and leg warmers from Lululemon and she lost one of the socks. It's like the sock is different from the leg warmer part. So she asked if I could knit her a new pair of the socks. And she wanted them to be really soft because her Lululemon ones, I think they were 100% Cashmere, but that doesn't really make sense. I don't know why they would do that. It must have been like a cashmere nylon blend. But, um, so she wanted a new pair of socks, which I thought was perfect because I don't really like doing heels and toes. So they are the perfect sock for me to knit. <laughs> there is no heel and toe in a yoga sock, generally. Um, so she wanted a bright rainbowy color and I had dyed this skein 
This is an MCN, so it has that cashmere softness to it, and it's very bright, and I love this colorway, and I'm also excited that she wanted yoga socks because I should have plenty after her yoga socks to knit something for myself, a pair of socks, maybe a pair of yoga socks for myself. Um, but here's what I have so far with those. Now I'm trying to follow their sock so she had the second one she still had the second one she only lost one and um so i took photos of it to know what the design was and everything and um so i'm kind of doing a version of their sock so it had a short rib at the top and the bottom stockinette on the top of the foot and then a rib on the bottom of the foot. So I'm doing a two by two rib, um, keeping it circular. On theirs it was like two different yarns used for it, so I'm just gonna use the same yarn because it's easy. I'm using collage square needles. I think these are a one also. Nope, these are a US zero, two millimeter. Getting tighter and tighter with my sock knitting. I think it might help. She has a very narrow foot, so I cast on 58 stitches and then just added two stitches to the top because um, I have a feeling it might have been a little bit too tight. So I added a couple more stitches to the stockinette part, but I think they look really cool and I love this yarn. I just love the colors. Um, this was one of the ones where I was using up some of my dye that I had been using that day or on that weekend or whatnot. And uh, just threw in, I think this was the only one. I might've had two skeins. No, I did have two skeins. I had a yak, a yak base. Um, I threw in two skeins into a flat pan and I just used up all of my dye that I had, the stock that I had made that weekend. And it was mostly magenta, but I just love it. And she wanted bright colors. She was like, the brighter the better. So cool. They look awesome. I'm excited because I get to have some for myself afterwards as well. The next project is my mom's shawl. So I found a pattern. Um, I have two skeins of this. This is another hand dye that I have done. I showed the last episode. It's um, mostly peaches, coral peach, and then it's got um, some purple on it. Purple and like a light yellow. And this is a 50, um, 50, 50 merino silk. I love this base so much. It's gorgeous. The shine on this is incredible. And this is perfect for a nice summery shawl kerchief. So I have two of these and I was thinking about using both, but then I found a pattern and it was only one uh, skein and I think it'll work out great. It's the Summer Sky Shawl, or it's just called Summer Sky. It's by Janina Kaleo. And uh, it's kind of like a normal into, which was what I was going for. Uh, so it's got garter. It's an asymmetrical shawl. It's got some garter, starts with garter, and it's got lace sections in it. So I just started it. And so I'm only in the garter. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm using my like needles. Okay, I know that's not how you pronounce them. We'll go with it. Uh, size six, US six, four millimeter. Um, and this is the perfect yarn for these needles. The last time I was talking about how, since they're wood, the yarn doesn't really, um, it grips onto the needles. And um, the yarn I was using was for, um, was a BFL nylon sock yarn. So I didn't really need that grippiness but with the silk in here it's very drapey it's very slippery so I think these wood needles are perfect perfect for this yarn so there is what I have and I'm very excited and the fact that it's a one skein project is kind of great because it means that it'll go a little bit faster
which is fine. And since it's more of like a summery time of shawl, um, I think it's better than having a ginormous shawl to wrap yourself in. It's just kind of like a little accessory piece, which is great. So there's that gift. <laughs> All of these have been gifts. Yeah. And then my next project is being kept in my Fat Squirrel Fibers bag. I love this one. It was like called Sheep Toss or something, I think she called it, but it's got these beautiful, I love the purple zipper actually, because it matches, it's so bright. I love the purple and orange, it's very cool. Um, I'm working on the Tensdale Shawl by Patricia Shapiro. And I started this last year, I think it was the end of last year, and I'm almost done now. I just have the garter um, edging. It's like 24 rows of garter. So I just started that, but he, of course, why would I have a long enough cord to show you guys the shawl? Here's what I have. It's got, it's um, a stockinette shawl. It's a triangle shape and it has these di three diamonds in the center spine of it. in garter stitch and this is out of a recycled yarn from a sweater that I had this is where I was the last time I showed you which was probably like last year <laughs> last October um, yeah it's gonna be huge warm and cozy and I absolutely love this so the friend who had the baby who's getting the baby hat is getting this shawl um, yeah, it's warm and cozy. The yarn structure is one of those, I think it's like nylon, cashmere, and merino, but the nylon in it is one of those like netted tubes and the cashmere and merino is kind of like shot into the tube. There's a fly in here and I hope you can't hear it because it's like flying around everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. So, oh, this is knit on US 7s, 4.5 millimeter. I'm knitting these on carbons. Oh, and here comes my cat to get the fly. That's great. It's going to make a mess. Um, so, yeah, so this is almost done. I'm hoping that this is one of the things that gets done for next episode to show you blocked and finished. This one will be an easy one to block because there won't be that many ends to weave in. <laughs> I think that's the only reason why the starburst is not blocked or was not blocked for the episode because uh, there were so many ends to weave in and I just... Every now and again I will get the urge to just finish things and it'll be totally fine but until then it's like no I'm not doing it. <laughs> So those are the gifts that I've been working on. And then I cast on two socks. This is my cheeseburger bag with french fries. And the pickle lining. I love this bag so much. It's so cute. I just love the prints. They work so well together. Um, yes. So I cast on a couple socks for myself out of, uh, because so I just want to use all of my hand-dyed yarns now. I just love it. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun dyeing yarn, and I intend to continue and get better at it. Uh, so the first one is this yellow, red, speckly yarn. And I only have a very little, only because I was knitting it last night and I tried it on and realized that, so I'm trying to make a tighter sock for myself. And I normally cast on, I think it's like 64, 
stitches. So I've been trying to cast on 60 stitches. Only these needles that I am using for this sock are Knit Pro Zings and they're two millimeter, which is a zero, US zero. I think it's a US zero. Yes. And so I went down in stitch size and then down in needle size because I normally knit with a US one and that was way too tight. So I had to recast it on. And so I'm using the US zero and 64 stitches. I went back up to the 64 stitches and I'm only on the two by two rib right now. So uh, not a whole lot to show, but um, I have a feeling with all of these um, vanilla socks that I'm working with and different needle sizes, I'm getting that much closer to my perfect sock. And uh, I'm really excited to see how these turn out actually. I'm excited to get past the rib part to the stockinette part because that's really where like the yarn I think kind of takes shape whether it's going to start pooling or whatever it's going to do I have to get past this rib cuff to like really see what the yarn is going to look like do you know what I mean I think so I think that made sense <laughs> and uh the last sock that I cast on and the last project that I've been working on is another one of my yarns and it's red green with like brown speckles in it. I love this red. I love this red so much. It's so bright and just awesome. So I had to cast this on right away because I wanted to see if it was going to look Christmassy because it's not a Christmas colorway. And I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I just got past the, the rib cuff two by two. I cast on 60 stitches for this because these are US ones. These are my signature DPNs and they are US ones 2.25. And I found the last time I used these, it was, um, I felt like my gauge was a little bit looser. So I went, down in the stitch count to 60 um, and we'll see how these go they look I mean clearly they look bigger and also this yarn is thicker I mean this is a terrible comparison but whatever <laughs> just to show you um, this is a four ply 75 25 sock yarn and this one's a two ply 80 20, I think. And this is a much plumper yarn. Much more plumper yarn. The yarn is thicker. <laughs> uh, that one's all kinked up. I don't know if you can really tell, but this one is definitely thicker, which is another reason why I wanted to go down to the US zeros on this yarn because this yarn is thinner. So I figured. I'm going to get that tighter, tighter sock. Anywho, so this is what the yarn is looking like so far. I've got um, one side of the rib. It's the green and red is kind of striping a little bit and starting to pool. And on the other side, it's the red and white that is starting to pool. Um, I don't mind pooling. I think it's kind of fun. So we'll see how, I like how it spirals around actually. So we'll see how that turns out when I knit some more of the stockinette. Hopefully it'll just spiral the whole leg. And that is all that I've been knitting on. All. That's what I've been knitting on this week. Um, just a lot of casting on. I, I think I needed to cast on a lot of projects with all of my new yarn. And... Uh, Everything's going great so far. I mean, it's all, it's so funny. It's all socks. Like, I'm like, eh, socks are all right. And then that's all that I've been knitting on. Gotta get some shawls in the works. I have some ideas for shawls, but I really need to get some of these gifts off the needles and done. And then I can go back to knitting for myself. Which I'm hoping is what I'll be doing on my trip back to the States. Two months of knitting 
sweaters and shawls and socks for myself. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited <laughs> to take a little break and do some major me knitting. Isn't that what I've been doing this whole time? Yes, yes it is. So on to what I've been spinning, sp spinning, <laughs> not spinning. Uh, I've only been focusing on one fiber, which is, uh, it's called Better Breakfast. It's from Knit Spot, and this is one of the fibers that Karen um, purchased my, when she was playing my personal shopper at last year's Maryland Sheba Mall. Here, it's a roving, unspun roving. It's amazing. It's 65 merino, 35 alpaca, and I love it so much. It's gorgeous to spin. I love spinning alpaca. I don't know what it is. I've been falling in love with it. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing fiber. So I've been spinning single ply, worsted-ish to bulky-ish kind of. This is on my wool tree mill spindle. This was my first drop spindle. This is what I learned on and I love it. Um, and there's the top there. This is, I'm, I think I'm about halfway done. Here is what I, yeah, that's fine. Here's what I've uh, finished and soaked. Some spots are a little bit thinner than a worsted weight. I'm trying to keep it worsted. This whole kind of process, if you will, was because I've been spinning so fine and it just keeps getting finer and finer that I wanted to spin something consistently thicker. <laughs> Thick and thicker. So that's where I was going with this. And then as I was spinning it, I was like, this would look amazing in that, what is it, Phydra hat that I really like. So I'm thinking this may turn into the Phydra hat. The sample was done with um, Quarry. For the pattern so I think I may need to spin it a little bit thicker or add stitches it would be kind of weird if my yarn just changed thickness halfway through the hat so I think I'm just going to continue what I'm doing I might have to I don't normally do gauge swatches for things but I might have to do a gauge swatch just to figure out my oh the planes are going by so today is Israel's Independence Day happy Independence Day Israel and the air show is actually going on right now. I can hear it. I don't know if it'll come up on the mic, but the planes are, we live like three blocks from the beach and the planes are flying along the coast. They're doing an air show. Um, I saw it last year and I did some video of it. So if you want to go back to a year ago in my podcast and go to the end of the episode, you can see some of the air show. I'm sure it doesn't change too much from year to year, but they do loop-de-loops and stuff. It's kind of fun. Anywho, and that's it for this episode. That's what I've been working on these past couple weeks. Uh, what I'm thinking is I will have one more episode before my trip. I will film on May 23rd, so in three weeks, right before my trip, so I can get a lovely podcast out. Hopefully some of these, hopefully all of these <laughs> gifts will be finished by then. And I'll have some, uh, a boatload of FOs to show you before I give them away. And um, I'm thinking about doing another fit discussion next episode as well on shoulder slopes. So I hope you can join me. I will see you then. Thanks for uh, watching today. Bye.